Hi everybody, this is a review video of the first graders, 12th night. So here, uh, Andrew, Andrew is quite disappointed because Maria refused Andrew and she left. So Andrew is disappointed and Sir Toby Belch saying, Oh, knight, thou lackest a cup of canary. When did I see thee so put down? So knight and thou, both of them refers to Andrew, right? Oh, Andrew. You lack, lack, you need a cup of canary, right? So canary is drinking. Canary is drink. So you need a drink, right, Andrew? When did I see thee so put down? So put down means disappointed, right? Disappointed. So when did when did I see you last time? When did I see you so disappointed last time? And Andrew, Andrew is saying, never in your life, I think. So he says, no, you didn't see me disappointed in your life before, unless you see Connery put me down. So he's saying that unless, unless means if not. If you don't see canary put me down, it means that if there is no canary, if there is no drink, I'll maybe get disappointed. But as long as there is a canary, as long as there is drink, I'll never get disappointed. So me think sometimes I have no more wit than a Christian or an ordinary man has. So do you guys remember what does me think mean? Me think? So I think, right? I think sometimes I have no more wit, I have no more humor than a Christian or ordinary man. Here, Christian refers to priest. So he believed that sometimes I am not really a funny person, just like a priest or an ordinary man. And but I'm a great eater of beef. So he is saying that I eat a lot of beef and I believe that does harm to my wit. And that means eating of beef, right? So eating of too much beef, beef harming to my wit, my humor, I guess. And Sir Toby Belch answers, no question, means of course. So, Sir so Toby Belch basically is saying, Andrew, you are not a funny person, right? Sir so Toby Belch is make fun of Andrew by saying that you are not a funny person. But Andrew doesn't understand, and Andrew doesn't get it. Being a smart, uh, being a, a fool, he doesn't understand what uh, Toby is saying. And Sir so Andrew says, and I thought that I'd forswear it. And here means I would, I would forswear. You guys remember the meaning of forswear? I would give up, right? I would give up. It means eating of meat, right? I'm going to give up the eating of meat. And I'm going to ride home tomorrow, Sir Toby. And he says, I'm going to go home tomorrow, said Toby. And it means that he is going to drink with Toby overnight, and he will go home tomorrow. And Toby, Toby Belch is saying, Pokoa, my dear dear knight. So Pokoa, it means why in French. And Andrew doesn't know what Pokoa means, so Andrew says, what is Pokoa? Do or not do? So he is asking, what does pokwa mean? Does it mean? Does it mean? I will do do it, or I will not do it. Will not do it. And I would. I had bestowed in time in the tongues that I have been fencing, dancing, and bear baiting. So Sir Andrew is saying that I wish I had bestowed, 
I wish I had spent. I wish I had spent time in tongues. Tongue means foreign languages, right? Foreign languages. I wish I, I had spent more time studying foreign languages rather than spending time fencing, dancing, or hunting. So Sir Andrew basically regretting about not learning about foreign languages. So he said, I wish I had spent more time learning foreign languages rather than spending time in fencing, dancing, or hunting. Oh, I, oh had I but followed art, or he says, oh, but I took some art classes. I learned some art classes, Sir Andrew says. And Sir Toby Belch is saying, then had though had an excellent head of hair. So if you learned foreign languages, if you spent time learning foreign languages, maybe you might had an excellent head of hair. You might had a better hairstyle. So Sir Toby Welch is saying, if you had studied foreign languages, Sir Andrew, you might have a better hairstyle than now. Again, Sir Toby Belch is making fun of Andrew. You know, if you think about it, learning foreign languages and having a better hairstyle doesn't have to do anything with each other. It's not related. But Toby Belch is saying if you learned foreign languages, you might have better hairstyle. Means that Toby Belch is saying, Sir Andrew, you have a so, so terrible hairstyle. And Toby is making fun of Andrew. And Andrew doesn't get it. Andrew doesn't get what Toby Belch really means. So Sir Andrew says, why? Would that have mended my hair? Would that like fixed my hair, my hairstyle, do you think, if I studied more uh, foreign languages? And past question, Toby Belch says, of course, past question. Yes, it might have fixed your hair if you have studied more foreign languages. For those seeds did will not curl by nature. So he's saying that, you no, know, basically, you, Andrew, you made your own hair. So if you learned more foreign languages, you might have had a better hairstyle than now. And Sir Andrew is saying, but it becomes me well enough, does it not? And he is asking, my hairstyle, it looks good. It looks good, does it not? So he believed that his hair looks quite good. And Toby Belch is saying, excellent. It hangs like a flex on a distaff. So, so Toby Belch is saying that, yes, your hair looks quite excellent, and it hangs like a flex on a distaff. So it means old, worn out mop, right? So, so Toby Belch is basically saying that, Andrew, your hair looks just like an old, worn out mop. Right? So you guys know what the mop is, right? Mop. Mm. You know what this is? <laughs> this is a mop, right? So Toby is saying, basically, Andrew, your hair looks like a old worn out mop. And I hope to see a housewife take the between her legs and spin it off. And he's saying, that I hope some women would like your hairstyle. So Andrew. And Andrew says, Faith, I'll home tomorrow, Sir Toby. And Faith, you guys remember what Faith means? Right? So it means that, believe me. Believe me, I'll go home tomorrow, Sir Toby. 
your niece will not be seen. So your niece Olivia, right? She will not see anybody, anyone. Right? She Olivia is not seeing anybody to remember her brother, right? So if she be, it's four to one, she will not know me. So if she be, if she meets someone else, if she sees someone else, it's four to one. So it's four to one. Four to one means it's most likely, most likely, she will none of me. Olivia is not going to be mine, even though she sees somebody. So the count himself here hard by woos her. So I heard that the count, I heard that the duke who lives nearby, I uh, hereby, who live, the duke who lives here, ooh, Olivia. So I heard that the, uh, you know, Duke Orsino, he tried to seduce Olivia, right? Duke, Duke live here, ooh, Olivia. Also, Andrew heard about Duke Orsino try to seduce Olivia, right? So Andrew is saying, Olivia is not going to be mine anyway. And Sir Toby Belch is saying, she will none of the count. So here, O means of. And here it means Olivia, she is not interested. She is not interested in the Duke. Right. She is not interested in the Duke Ursino and she will not match above her degree. So she will not match above her degree. So she will not meet any man. She will not meet any man who has higher degree, higher social rank. Higher degree, social rank. She is not going to see any man who came from higher social rank than herself, and she is not going to match any man neither in estate. So anyone who is more, who is richer than herself, and also anyone who is years, right? Who is older than herself and who is like nor wit so who is smarter than herself so olivia is not going to meet anybody who is ha who has higher social rank than herself who is richer than herself who is older than herself who is smarter than herself so i heard i have heard her swear so I heard she is swearing, she promises, she swears that she is not going to marry this kind of man. So toot, there's life in it, man. So you, Andrew, there's, there is a hope in your life, man. So still you have a hope, Andrew. You are not richer, you're, you're not higher social rank. You're not older, you're not smarter, you're not everything than Olivia, so you still have a chance. So again, Toby Belch is making fun of Andrew, right? And Andrew answers that I'll stay a month longer. Now Andrew seems to feel better, even more now. So he says, instead of staying uh, just instead of going home tomorrow, he says, I'm going to stay a month longer. Means that he is going to stay here a month and drink with him for a month. I'm a fellow of here, of, I'm a fellow of the strangest mind in the world. So uh, Andrew is saying that I think I'm, I am on. Um, 
odd kind of a guy. I sometimes think that I am an odd kind of a guy because I delight in masks. I delight in play and revels sometimes. I delight in dances sometimes. So sometimes all the things that I want to do is just watching plays and go out and dancing. And I don't want to do anything else. So I believe sometimes I'm a really an odd kind of guy. And Sir Toby Belch is saying, Are you good at these kick shaves, Knight? So these kick shaves refers to, Are you uh, good at these kind of things? And we are now talking about dance. So he is saying, are you good at dancing, Sir Andrew? And says, as any man in Illyria, whatsoever he be. So yes, I can dance as good as any man in Illyria under the degree of my betters. So under the degree of my betters. Except those one who are better than me. So he is saying, no, I can dance as good as any man in Illyria, except those people who can dance better than me, I can dance quite good, and I will not compare with an old man. I am not going to compare my dancing skill with a dancing skill of old man. So if you think about it, this sentence, the meaning of this sentence, this is a really a stupid thing to say. It says, I can dance quite good. And he at the same time says, oh, I can dance good, except those people who are better than me. It's just a uh, meaningless, it's stupid things to say. <laughs> and he says he's not going to compare his dancing skill with old people. Yes, it's not worse, it's not worse to compare your skill with old men. No? So this sentence really is stupid to say, but this is just an Andrew character of Andrew. And Sir Toby Belch is saying, what is thy excellence in a Galliad knight? So Galliad, I told you that Galliad is a kind of dancing. There are a lot of kind of dances, and Galliad is a, one of the kind. So what is thy excellence? How good? How good can you dance with Galliad, Andrew? In face, I can cut a paper. And he is saying that, believe me, believe me, I can cut a paper. Cut a paper means I can dance. And Toby is saying, and I can cut the mutton too. I can cut the mutton too. I can cut meat. And if you think about the structure of the language, he says, I can cut a caper. Toby Welch answers, I can cut the mutton. Tooth doesn't have any meaning. Okay? So Toby is playing with the language, regardless of the meaning. Okay? Playing with the language. And Shakespeare really enjoyed playing with the language. Okay? And Sir Andrew says, And I think I have the back trick simply as strong as any man in Libya. And he is saying that I can do a back trick. No? Back. Word. Step. In the dancing, you have many steps, right? In the movement of dancing, you have forward dancing, you have back step, backward step, you have side step, you have like circle step, whatever. You have all kinds of different steps in dance movement. So back trick is just one of the steps in dancing. So he says, I can do backward step as good as any man in Illyria, again, Andrew. And wherefore are these things hide? So and Belch is saying, where did you hide them? If you are good at dancing, why don't you show your dancing to more people? Why? Where? Where did you hide your dancing skills? Wherefore have these gift a curtain before them? Right? So he's asking why? Why? 
did you have carton before them? So he is saying, if you are so good at dancing, why did you put a cotton before your dancing skill? Show your dancing skill to other people instead of hiding your dancing skill behind the curtain. Are they like to take dust like Mr. Small's picture? So, you know, take dust means get dusty. No, the Mr. Small's picture is just an example. Mr. Small's picture isn't just an example. No, let's say that there is a picture. You have a picture and there is a No, the title of the picture is the Mistress Moles picture, and you have, you know, this is a frame picture, and usually this frame is tend to be located in the corner of your room, right? The corner of your room or in the place not many people like uh, watch the pictures usually, you know? so it gets dusty as time goes by. The picture gets dusty because no one care about the key picture located in the corner of your room. So just like the picture of the Miss Moore's picture, you put your dancing skill in the corner and you are hiding your dancing skill instead of showing to many people. So Toby Belch is saying, is your dancing skill like get dusty? Just like Miss Moore's picture? Why? Why does not go to church in a Galliad and come home in Coranto? So Galliad and Coranto are all kind of dances. So he is saying, if you are so good at dancing, Andrew, when you go to church, why don't you dance a galliad? And when you come home, why don't you dance Coranto and come home, if you can dance so good? My very walk should be a zig. So, you know, a zig is like walking. Walking, zigzagging, right? Walking zigzagging. Right? When you walk zigzagging, zigzagging, right? Left, right, left, right, right, right. So he is saying, if I can dance like you, I can I will I will uh, my walk, my walk is like a dancing. I will always dance all the time when I will walk. And I would not so much make water, but you know, syncopace. Syncopace is a word. And make water is take pee, right? So if I were you, I will always dancing when I walk. Of course, when I take a pee, when I go to restroom, I'm not going to dance a waltz, but you no, know, I will do the walking, uh, dancing all the time. What those do mean? So he is saying, what are you thinking? So what are you thinking, Andrew? Why are you not showing your dancing skill to people? Is it a word to hide virtues in? So is it a virtue? to hide your achievement. So uh, yeah, is it a vir virtue to hide your achievement? Don't don't hide your dancing skill. Show it to more people. I did think thy excellence constitution of thy leg. So if uh, Toby is saying, I think you have a really good shape of your leg and I thought your leg it your leg was made under the star of Goliath I thought your leg is made under the star of the dance and Andrew says I tis strong tis refers to leg so, yes my leg is strong and it does indifferent well in a flame colored stuff right so and my leg also look quite good 
my legs looks good looks good in brown color in brown tight tight is a stocking right so Sir Andrew was wearing a brown tights, brown stocking. So he is saying that my leg look quite good in the brown tights, brown stocking. Shall we set some rebels? So he is asking, shall we dance? And Toby is saying, what shall we do else? He's saying, why not? And uh, were we not born on the towers? You and I you know. Uh, Taurus is the name of Zodiac, right? Constellation. Star. Right? You and I, we are born under the Taurus, the star of Taurus. And Sir Andrew saying that uh, yes, Taurus. That's side and heart. So side, it uh, the towers it governs torso and heart. It governed our upper body and heart, isn't it? And Andrew get it wrong, right? Torso a uh, towers doesn't control torso and heart. So Toby is making a correction. No, no, sir. It's legs and thighs. The towers controls our legs and thighs. And you know, let me see the caper. So show me your dancing, Andrew. Higher, jump higher, higher. Excellent. Wow, you dance good. So they both of them are going out of the stage dancing together. Okay. So I guess this is the end of our exam unit. And you guys did a good job participating. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a uh, good luck, good score with your exam. Okay. See you next time. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.